That's some thick salmon. Mm -hmm. We're done shooting, but we're not done eating. No. <laughs> no, it's so good. Hey, I'm Gunnarola, world traveler, food lover. An airport isn't exactly the first place you'd expect to get a quality meal, but today we're slowing things down and exploring the dining options at some of the biggest airports in North America. This is your go-to guide if you want quality, local flavors, or something unique. Whether you've got a layover, delay, or you're just one of those people who gets to the airport super early, these are some of the best spots to grab a bite before you catch a flight. San Francisco is a multicultural city, so it only makes sense that we'll be sampling from a diverse selection of cuisine at the International Terminal at San Francisco International Airport. With access to some of the best quality agriculture on the West Coast, we are in for a feast. Today I'm meeting up with TJ, a video producer and YouTuber originally from the Bay. Our first stop, Joe and the Juice, a spot where you can find sandwiches, coffees, and smoothies all made right on the spot. It's fresh, it's healthy, and some of the menu items might surprise you. Cheers, butternut squash. What do you think? It's amazing. Right? It's sweet. Can't believe it's butternut. <laughs> all right, so San Francisco seems like a pretty diverse city. It is so diverse, and that's reflected in its cuisine. We have just amazing soul food. We have mouth-watering Mexican food. If you go to Sunset or Chinatown, you get amazing Asian food. Now, we're both travelers. You travel a ton. Yes, so I created the Cutest Travel and Food Show, and we cover everything from Dollar Street food to Michelin star restaurants around the world. I'm always on the go. Yeah, are you the type of person who dines at an airport? <sighs> Honestly, I feel like I'm always in a rush. It's at an airport. You know, you just yeah. don't expect, like, quality food here. Well, I think some of the spots today are going to encourage you to get oh, here a little early. Really? Let's, Let's go. go try Let's go. them. Next up, Napa Farms Market, an artisan marketplace featuring a carefully curated selection of local food and souvenirs, from farm to flight. So tell me about the concept behind Napa Farms Market. And it's a market slash restaurant slash specialty goods store. We offer artisanal goods and everything is local. Um, about 90% of our products come from Northern California. We have a grab and go section where we make all of our salads and sandwiches. Then we also have really neat platters. And then we also have our really great prepared food section where we have bagel bar and then our pizza station and our wood fire grill over there. And also this stuff and here. And the bar. <laughs> the bar, which everybody loves. All right, bagel time. How do we share a bagel? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Ladies first. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at the amount of salmon on here. That West Coast right. salmon? I guess I'll do this salmon-less part. Yeah, healthy stuff. Healthy, okay, here we go. <laughs> Bagel is toasted mm -hmm. warm and crunchy. I love it. So good. And super fresh. And we can just take it to go on the plane. The plating is absolutely beautiful. For an airport? Is... Are we even still in an airport right I now? Don't, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we're at a farmer's market in San Francisco. <laughs> All right, look at these cute little personal sized pizzas. I love salami on my pizza. And I see one right there with salami. It has mozzarella, pepperoni, salami, pancetta, chorizo. All the meats. Thank you. Oh, oh no. <laughs> It's loaded with toppings. They can't even stay on the pizza. It's, it's going in. Go in the mouth. Here we go. Uh. Mm. Wow. It's so good. To top it off, our local beer. Yes, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to pass out on that flight. All right, see you later. <laughs> Next door, you'll find Mustard's Grill, an iconic landmark in Napa Valley serving farm-fresh new American dishes for over 30 years. Now available at the airport. Mustard's Grill started in Napa Valley. Tell me a bit about that history there. So, uh, Cindy Paulson uh, founded it. Just from the, the get-go, it was uh, one of the places to go in the Napa Valley. Uh, very honest food, uh, farm to table, kind of one of the original. Uh, the menu that we do here is very similar to what we do at Mustard's. Our well-known and famous Mongolian pork chop, and and our onion rings, which are a little bit different play on onion rings that you'll see. <laughs> All right, well, let's start with our appetizer here. Should I eat with my hands or fork? Uh, I feel like this is kind of fancy. Look, okay. look how fun this is. Okay. You guys have been their homemade apple ketchup. Oh my god, they're seasoned so beautifully. This is like a meal in itself. I love how the onions are thinly sliced. Yeah, it doesn't feel as like heavy and greasy as onion rings can be. So underneath all this salad, there is no, look at this Some kind of, oh my god. Oh. That's gorgeous. Here we go, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this one's getting messy, this one's getting messy. Let's get the combination of a giant hunk of fish here and some, look at that. Oh. Mm. The salmon just like. Melted. All right, they're famous Mongolian pork chop. This is a hunk of meat. Garlic mashed potatoes, essential. There's an airplane. Here we go. <laughs> That mustard sauce? It's, so, it's like sweet. Mm -hmm. This pork chop and this mashed potato is a mashed bake in heaven. <laughs> I'm just funny. 
Mum Fresh specializes in Vietnamese dishes prepared simply with the highest quality ingredients using recipes and techniques passed down through generations. It's fresh, it's pure, and it's the ultimate comfort food before a flight. So what inspired you to open a restaurant? I'm one of the immigrants that came from uh, Vietnam and having lived in the uh, refugee camps, uh, part of the American dream is to share our cultural heritage basically through the food that we serve to our guests. What do you think it is about Vietnamese food that people love? It's the lightness, it's, um, it's healthy, and it's full of flavors. It's jam-packed with herbs and spice and uh, it doesn't leave you feeling kind of icky yeah. after finishing it. So you guys prep this every night, daily. I have the worst yeah. technique for pho, though. I'm the worst <laughs> Asian. Mm. Yeah. Was, was that a good slurp? Right, yeah. You're supposed to slurp. Mm. We're like fighting over the bowl. Mm. I, I would not share this with anybody oh. except for you. It's hot, it's flavorful. I love it. I can't believe you can get pho at the airport. All right, next dish. All right, well, I'm going to try an egg roll first. Oh, OK. Spring roll? This is spring roll. <laughs> I was like egg roll. Who's the, the bad Asian it's now? Me. <laughs> Very cute little toast. <laughs> okay, this is a group activity. Yeah, and then the noodles on the bottom. Whoa. So. <laughs> The Vietnamese do not skimp on their portions. No. Like, there is a lot of food here. This is honestly a meal and an activity. So fresh, so refreshing, because it's a cold dish. Look it's at all that meat there. <laughs> oh, that meat? Yeah. Mm. Ooh, there's a little kick in there. Like What's that spicy? Look at that. that is the jalapeno. <laughs> 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 it's a little spicy. I'm Didn't having want to a great time. You. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Mm. At 1300 on Fillmore, you'll find a menu of elevated southern dishes, courtesy of Chef David Lawrence. It's a modern spin on American tradition. 1300 on Fillmore did not start in the airport. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of this place? It's actually started on Fillmore Street, which mm -hmm. is in the middle of San Francisco. It was known uh, as the, at the time as Harlem of the West. <laughs> and so we wanted to bring all that back, all that right. jazz, and right. that clamor, and that food, and all the stars there. And that's how 1300 was born. So how did you guys end up in the airport? Being a traveler myself, the quality of food at airports have um, gotten so much better over the last few years. I wanted to be a part of that. Yeah. And so uh, I thought 1300 would be a great marriage at, at SFO. Yeah, one thing what a lot of people don't realize is your vacation doesn't start at your destination. It starts when you enter that airport, right? Oh, for me, uh, my vacation starts like a week before. I'm packing and stuff <laughs> like that. Honestly, your vacation starts once you get through customs and you sit in a bar, you have, want to have a drink, you wait for your plane, and you just want some good food, you know? Yeah. So that you can get on the plane and take a nap. What you have there is one of the classic 1500 dishes. It's the shrimp ah, and grits. The shrimp so it's the freshwater shrimp, you know, I've so with a little soy, a uh, little cream, a little garlic. Look at the size of these shrimp. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, that's Perfect. beautiful. Tell yes, all right, chef that. approved. <laughs> oh my God, creamy. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's normally a, a breakfast item. And when you're coming into the airport, it could be any time zone. Any time. So, it's got a so, nice kick yeah. to it, too. Yeah. Yeah. A little spice in there. We had a little cayenne in there to add a little spice so there indulgent. for you. This is our uh, three-hour uh, braised shortbread. Three hours? Three hours braised until it's fallen off the bone. You can eat that with a mm. spoon. So tender. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's sliding Look off. Look at oh. that. Yes. Cheers. Mm. Here we go. How's that? Oh, yeah. Tender? Mm-hmm. Listen, we don't need to go anywhere because we have the most amazing food. Right here. Yeah. There you go. Tomokazu offers an extensive menu of Japanese staple dishes from sushi to ramen, all served in a space that is super chill. There's so much food in front of us. Every this. type of Japanese food here. We have ramen, we have udon, we have sushi, we have sushi, we have sushi, we have sushi, we have sushi. <laughs> Here's what I think we should do. do. Okay. I'm going to try the udon, Ooh. and we're going to okay. see who can slurp the best. You want to slurp off? I want to slurp off. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm, I'm going to tie my hair up for this. <laughs> what are the rules? Who uh, who wins what? Loudest? Loudest? Or the most? Um, the most substance in their mouth. Oh, I'm going to win this one oh. for sure. I've been practicing too, so. <laughs> oh, have you? Okay, all right. Oh, you're going to mix it. Look at the moisture. In the, oh, my. Look at the amount of noodles I have. That's a deep bowl. Ooh, I'm ready. Send me some noodles. One, two, three. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You're cheating. <laughs> mm. Elegance, I win. <laughs> Noodles got a nice, nice chew to it, and it's quite springy as well. Yeah. And it, the soup just clings onto it pretty well. Oh my god. 
It's so thick. It's so thick. If I had a nickel for every time I heard that. So there you have it, just a few spots to grab a quality meal or snack. Make sure to like this video and share it with a fellow traveler. And for more delicious travel tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Nam voyage!